Salute comrades and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 2 Doomsday Armageddon. My name is Vadim and look what will happen in a few seconds. 3, 2, 1, ok. Ok, new technologies. Well, 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 look what we hear. Uh, you see, Germany usually demands the some of the territories from Czechoslovakia and Czechoslovakia uh, scared of uh, being pulled into war with German they give them their territories but right now ps I don't know really why the Germany do didn't demand these territories from Czechoslovakia so there will not be a war and will not be okay so, this is a surprising query for me, because usually they demand it. So, 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 then, usually after the Germany demanded this, their territory, they demanded every other territories, and Czechoslovakia is erased from the face of the earth as a, as a nation, and their territories are taken by uh, Hung Hungary uh, I don't know how to pronounce it in Romania H Hun Hungary I don't know okay uh, the green white red nation okay and Germany so right now I guess the Czechoslovakia will be saved as a nation so usually uh, that means that uh, Europe uh, Czechoslovakia didn't drawn into war and we will have uh, two fronts one here and one here I don't know why but uh, it's better uh, when your fronts are split so you can can win uh, in uh, one front and uh, the stable uh, situation will be in another front you can like break through make a breakthrough in one front and uh, in another there will be a still situation like uh, uh, but when the front is united and long it's usually back and forth and uh, it's very very uncomfortable so I, I'm, I'm surprised I'm surprised viewer, okay. Oh yeah, we have a research completed, so we will soon be at war, so we will invent some tanks. Because it's time, really, to start. And by the way, we decreased our descent enough, enough, it's okay. So we will continue to produce the casual things that we will need, like divisions, divisions, divisions. Uh, yeah, what, that's it. So very, very soon, uh, as you see, I will show you. Just, uh, here, uh, we have, uh, we built uh, a lot of infantry, and soon we will complete our production so very soon we will start to upgrade our armies but uh, we will need uh, good troops only on the European front and uh, other troops is like just a borderman and they are not so required they will, will not fight probably so right what I'm going to do is uh, to to force my uh, not European troops force them to stay the same to be the obsolete ones and not to uh, not to demand uh, upgrading like for when the 
we will spend a lot of uh, our resources to upgrade our troops uh, so uh, only our uh, Euro uh, European troops will be upgraded this will save us a lot of industrial capacity a lot of time uh, effort and uh, most probably uh, when the war will start we will have uh, very modern troops on the European border and by the way that's why uh, the Russian uh, lost the few f few uh, first years of war because they had a they had a uh, obsolete troops like no not modern very poor in poor conditions and Germans just uh, shoot them uh, very easily that's that a sad story but okay there's some, some events going on and nothing important by the way here is our new window I didn't show you before this is a trade agreement a trade agreement window and before it was on a automatic a computer decided whether to accept it or decline it but computer don't uh, make a wise choice here he uh, just uh, we uh, as I showed you we need a lot of supplies and we need a lot of oil but uh, automatic intelligence may uh, trade it to other countries for uh, useless uh, resources like uh, energy which we have uh, enough to 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 complete uh, this game just with uh, that we have right now so we can not produce we can say okay we don't need any energy and we will just uh, we will survive survive on the all we have right now so this Mongolia give us some energy, but we don't need them, need it really, and them too, <laughs> because they are not as, as good ally as we would like them to be. So, I'm very, very surprised that Germany didn't demand the territory. That will change our coming war a lot for uh, I, I don't know maybe Germany will uh, do some some peaceful decisions in the future and then we I don't know maybe we will even I hope we won't have to fight allies because we can't fight them we have no borders with them I guess oh, let's see by the way let's see, is, we see all countries are divided in three fraction in three fractions axis the germ only germany by by now but uh, then it will be uh, romania italy maybe japan but okay allies allies you see we have uh, france united kingdom and no united states united states are not in uh, one particular uh, fraction so it can become axis we will maybe became a communist country so this is why one of the twists of the game uh, which side the uh, United States will join but they will most probably will join the allies and if we will have to fight not axis but uh, fight allies it will be uh, very surprising and the uh, Comintern, Soviet Union uh, and two not big countries like uh, this is this is our allies yeah Let's see this is uh, one one ally you see one province one and one country and this is another Mongolia it's cr crazy allies so no, not like France who have allies Britain and other developed countries so another research we will study air doctrine air doctrine is uh, one of the 
most consuming effort consuming tec degree of technologies so we will spend a lot of time researching this and give it a lot of attention but it will give us a, uh, an advantage later on in the air combat but I don't know I I probably will crush Germany just by my land troops okay we'll see okay we will see so right now is an another period when nothing will happen so we will meet again when I will have something to show you and until then comrades you are dismissed